don't know if you can see that pattern. It looks kind of looks like a shadow, but that is the actual magnetic flux. Just wanted to test it. This one is for <clears throat> this could be used as a mini rotor assembly because the magnets are opposing as they go round and that makes it a lot easier to build them because they're happy to go on like that whereas this one because the fields are all lined up the same way the magnets do not want to touch each other so that's obviously a lot more tricky to make so that's the going to be the like what I'm going to use as a maglev magnet and this one I want to use to make some uh, <coughs> mini rotor assemblies obviously they have to be epoxy and stuff but with the generator assembly ones like this you could easily stack eight or nine of these small magnets on top of each other and you'll get a lot stronger field uh, the reason for that is because they want to line up properly when they're opposing they're so much easier to do but they look pretty cool and once i've sussed out what i'm going to do with the epoxy um, they're definitely going to be used for something so, watch my next video. Let me show you this again. <laughs> the awesomeness. So yeah, it looks like a shadow. It's actually the changing flux. I'll try and get a close up. Yeah, you can see it better there where it's thinner. And you see it when it's moving. So yeah, that's not a shadow or an optical illusion of any kind. At first I th thought, well, maybe it is a shadow cast by the fact that they're in a different position. So yeah, that's the generator assembly, and then the maglev magnet, you can see that has a lot more of a dramatic effect. With regards to the flux, you see, that's about five inches below, three, one and a bit and then it's on so you can see in the center they're all laying completely flat around the outside they're pronounced so yeah but i'm going to suss out getting these in epoxy and then they're going to be good so peace out have a good weekend